Hello guys and welcome to a brand new solo cast. Today we'll be reviewing Mega Man 1 and 2 with me, Joseph. The Nintendo Entertainment System was the second coming of video games. After Atari took a fat shit on the gaming industry in 1983, it was Nintendo to rise from the ashes and brought gaming back into the mainstream, delivering games like Super Mario Bros. and The Legend of Zelda. In terms of third party games on the NES, there was Konami with the Castlevania series and Contra, and with Konami, we had the Blue Bomber Mega Man. Released on, Dece on December 17th, 1987, Mega Man was the creation of Akira Kirimura and Keiji Nafune. I knew I fucked those names. Kirimura was the creator of the original design of Mega Man, and Nafune helped draw the character. Mega Man is about this one dude, I believe his name is Richard or something, and his journey is to defeat the six Robot Masters and defeat Do Dr. Wily, a mad scientist who hijacked the Robot Masters created by Dr. Light. He decides to give Richard, or Rock as he's actually called, a blaster and armor to destroy the Robot Masters. To much surprise before this video, I never played a Mega Man game. I've only dabbled in the original Mega Man in 2010 when I downloaded it off the Wii Shop channel. May that rest in peace, by the way. I didn't play a lot of it back then and considered it a ripoff. Today we'll, we will be looking at the first two Mega Man games. Now when I say the first two, I mean the first two of the original series. I'll also be playing these games via the Mega Man Legacy Collection for the PS4, Xbox One, 3DS, Switch, and PC. Specifically the Switch version. These are the best versions of these games that allow save states and rewind functionality. I would play the original versions of these games, but that would cost me around $300, and that's not counting the working NES I have to buy. We will begin this review with, of course, the first game in the series, Mega Man. As mentioned in the beginning, Mega Man has to stop the six Robot Masters and Dr. Wily. This game is the weird one out of the bunch, as this game only has six Robot Masters in it. Originally, there was the seventh Robot Master, which was Bond Man, but he was never programmed into the game. Normally, when I play Mega Man, I have a specific way of beating the game. Since you can access any level at any time, you can go after any Robot Master at any time. There, there is an order you can go to make the game easier. Each Robot Master has a weakness to another Robot Master's weapon. Oh shit, I totally forgot the most important part of Mega Man, the weapons. At the start of the game, Mega Man can only jump and shoot. This makes some levels harder than others, but it's doable. After defeating Robo Master, Mega Man gains the Robo Master's ability. These can use for a wide variety of, re of, stu of stuff. Fuck me. Now, now back to the Robo Masters. Normally I go for Cut Man first so I can get the weapon. His weapon, which acts like a boomerang. It is, it is a useful weapon, but when you miss your shot, it will leave you open for attacks, and it's a problem for smaller enemies given that most of them bounce around or shoot projectiles. Normally you should go for Bomb Man first, but I go for Cut Man first so I can go to Elect Man stage next. Elect Man's weapon is the best weapon in the game. It's a lightning blast that, that is fired in three ways. It also doesn't use that much ammo, so it usually replaces the normal blast for the rest of the game. Also, a quick tip. In Mega Man stage, there is a secret weapon located in the level that requires Elect Man or Guts Man's weapon. Get it. You'll know why later. Next is Fireman. I normally just beat him with the original Mega, Bu Mega Buster while he shoots fire. If you're quick enough, if you're quick you'll, enough, you can beat him easily. Fireman's weapon is a bigger Mega Buster blast, but also shields you while you use it. Now here is my least like level, Iceman. Iceman's level is your typical, typical ice level, but also includes the thing I hate the most about these games. Two words: disappearing blocks. I fucking despise these Mega Man games. Mega Man isn't the best to control. His traction is bad. When he stops, he slides a little, like Luigi and Super Mario Brothers 2. It wouldn't be a problem if it weren't for the level design, specifically these fucking blocks. There's one there's one block and it's very easy to fuck up on. Luckily, I got the secret weapon in Luck Man stage. It can basically create a platform for you to move on. It helps very well against the disappearing blocks. Anyways, you beat Iceman and you receive his weapon, which can freeze enemies, which works well on big eyes, these big robots that hop around the level, normally at the boss entrances, that deal a fuck ton of damage. Next is Bomb Man. There's nothing special here. Bomb Man's weapon is a bomb. That's it. I don't find myself using this weapon that much, except to defeat the final robot master of the run, Gutsman, which allows you to pick up blocks around the level definitely not the best weapon in the game. In fact, I would say it's the worst weapon in the game. After you kill all the Robot Masters, it's time to fight Dr. Riley. Before you fight him, you go through his fortress, which 
you have to use all your weapons, including the secret one, so if you didn't get it, you're stuck in this level and have to restart. At the end, you have to fight the boss that Satan coded into the game, aka the Yellow Devil. It's the hardest battle in the game. I've never seen anyone beat him without using the pause trick. That's how I beat him. A after more fights with the robot, robot masters, you fight Dr. Wiley, which he isn't that hard. At the end, Wiley gives up and you head back home. Roll credits. This was a fun game to look back on. I finally and finally beat after all these years. Let me just say the game is hard like most games on the NES, but it's not break your controller bad though. After you kill at least one Robomaster, the rest of them drop like flies. At the end of the day, it's an okay game, but not the best in the series. It also didn't sell that well, because maybe because of the difficulty. I give this game a C+. But anyways, they made another game in the series, Mega Man 2. Looking at the sales for the original, it's hard to believe that they wouldn't, they wouldn't have made a sequel. From what I've heard, the game didn't sell that well. Some people believe that the game sold poorly because of the crappy box art. I say that it's most likely got a bad rep for its difficulty at the time, but somehow it got a sequel, released in Japan on December 24th, 1988, and in North America in June of 1989. Mega Man 2 is considered to be the best Mega Man game ever. Personally, it's okay. Yeah, that's it. Let's talk about the story. Two story really doesn't do too much different from the first game. Mega Man must stop the now seven Robot Masters and, and Dr. Wily again. It's this game that gives us more backstory on Mega Man. Explains that Mega Man was created by Dr. Light. But when but when the Robot Masters attack, he transformed his son-like robot into Mega Man. Now get out there and kick some ass. This game is is very similar in style and concept. Shoots he can absorb Robo Masters and gain their abilities. There are a few things that they change though. At the start of the game, you have a difficulty selection, normal or difficult. Normal is a tweaked version of the original Japanese version which changes dam damage percentages and weakness and weakens enemies. I want the normal difficulty because I'm a busy guy and don't need to break some controllers. Another difference is in the items. You still get weapons from Robot Masters, but after a certain amount of stages, you get special items named Item 1, 2, and 3. Unique names, I know. They act similarly to, to the secret weapons in Mega Man 1. They make platforming easier, though you don't need to use them if you want a challenge. And finally, they have 7 Robot Masters instead of 6. Something that will stay with the series till this day. Or at least until Mega Man 10. I've never played in Mega Man 11. Another pro tip, always go for Mega Man, Metal Man first. Not only is it not as hard as the others, but Metal Man is the best Mega Man weapon ever. It kills enemies quickly, can be fired in multiple directions, and it barely uses ammo. There's also Wood Man, Wind Man, Flash, Flash Man, I forgot to say Flashlight, Flash Man, Quick Man, Bubble Man, and Heat Man. Most of their weapons are pretty basic. Heat Man can shoot fire, Bow Man shoots bubbles. But now they become iconic because this game is way better than the first. It takes the bases of the first game and the first one and expands it. It's more colorful, the level design is way better than the first one, and the music. The original Mega Man had basic music that was meh, but the first one takes the original and murders it. It's so good. At the end of the game, you go through Wily Tower, kill the robot, robotic dragon, mecha dragon, fight through the robot masters again, and take down Dr. Wily. No Yellow Devil this time, thank God. Mega Man 2 is where the franchise really takes off and made Mega Man a household name. Mega Man established a winning formula that is fun and accessible. I give Mega Man 2 an A. These games are pretty fun, however a bit dated. This video was supposed to be a review of the first five, but after looking at the script I, ha I had made... No, we weren't. We will look at the other five Mega Man games another time. But anyways, I, I enjoyed these two games. The original Man, Mega Man set the blueprints on how a running gun platformer should be, and Mega Man affected it. Though I like the newer games in the franchise more than these, for reasons I'll get into when we get into the Mega Man, the other Mega Man games with 3, 4, and 5. Keep in mind that I haven't played 4 or 5 yet, so I hope you enjoy this. So the next solo cast will most likely not be, Me be Mega Man related. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Next video should be our reviews on Shaun of the Dead and Zombieland for Halloween. Ooh, spooky.
that will be coming next week. Until then, I hope you enjoyed my commentary, and don't forget to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, bye.